Tuck is the performer. You have to have someone like that because he's going to be on camera. He's going to be wanting to filming, and you need to want to film it all the time, and you have to know why. So you create this guy who needs to have a camera, needs to film. He's a little um, cast aside by his family because there's like a more popular, more um, successful in conventional manner, like brother. And so he takes to the internet to get attention. So you have that guy right away. So then that gives you your reason for filming. Um, and I think he kind of pushes his friends into it and they play along, but he's really the guy who wants to film. So that's, that's how he was born. Um, we wanted someone to really connect with the alien, you know, with Echo. And so we, you know, tried to find a guy who is missing something in his life. Um, and then you take a character who's lost and not at home and feels like, feels like an alien on Earth because he is an alien. And then you have Alex, how can you mirror that in a, in a kid? So you have Alex feeling like, a, like an alien in his own world. And so that's what bonds him to Echo. And then Munch is just like, uh, all the eccentricities that I personally have like thrown into like a character and turned to hyperdrive and then that actor uh, just made it made it sparkle. So these kids are there a few weeks off from having to split permanently like they've grown up in this neighborhood for the past couple years um, Tuck and Munch like knew each other from like third grade on and then Alex came as a transplant a little later and they became like this trio and they were best friends and they and they were invisible I think to people in their school and even in their own homes in their own way but to each other they like really saw each other and they were their own little they were like they were their own family and now this imminent domain has come in and taken their homes and forcing them to move and Alex is going to have to move with this foster family away Tuck's going to go back to New York and Munch is going to have to move and, and they don't know what to do because they're all they have, really. And so that's, that's what starts our movie. To me, it's about the possibility of, of change that you can make even as a small person, even as a kid. And, like, and, it, and it's really about, it's just about like the closeness of friendships and working together. It's a tough genre to work in, um, but it's uh, but it was way worth it because if we'd done it in a straight narrative, I think it, I think it would have lost. I mean, the way Dave shot it and the way he was from those kids' perspective, even not even just being relevant with kids on their phones, just looking up at adults as they talk to you and the way you perceive the world, I think really affects kids. And my favorite part about the movie is when I go see it with kids, and like and the way that they immediately take ownership of it. And, and they like fight, and when their parents like give notes, with, like in test screenings where the parents are like, well, we didn't really like this, and then like, and the, and the kids will just like fight back and be like, what do you, dad, you're wrong, like you don't understand, as if like they'd made it, and that's what's great, I love that. We set out, like Stand By Me was a big sort of marker for us, and, and we wanted it to be honest to like characters in that regard, so, um, if you start a movie with an alien, uh, you're just looking at the aliens, this bright, shiny thing, you know? So, like, let's get into these characters. Who are they? And then, because really, the journey, well, Echo is obviously what brings them together in a way and allows a lot to happen. But, um, but the kids are our stars in some ways. So to, to, throw, to thrust all the narrative onto Echo right away, I think, would be dishonest because we want to tell this emotional story with the characters. Now, that being said, the mystery... Um, is. I mean, that's, that's, I, we wanted people to be leaning forward and wondering and what's going on. And, and you can't do that. If it's just, it just becomes kind of like, like you said, like a wacky comedy. And we wanted to, I mean, not only do they wonder what it is on their maps, but then they get there and then we can wonder what it is in the canister. And then so then you slowly reveal what's in the canister. And then still you don't know what it wants. And then it's building something. So what is that? And so like always having something for them to discover and always having a mystery to tease out. And now someone's after him, like, who's that? And um, that, that's, that, that's what we want to do, like little postmarks around the way. I mean, I think throughout the movie, we want people to walk out of the theater and be like, and you look at your cell phone differently. You know, you look at this construction worker differently. Like you're, and now suddenly the possibility, you know, of like, what is under my yard? Right? And like, and you, I think, I mean, we even had like a fake mock-up ad, just Dave and I between us, that was just like, you know, like shots of a normal house and like, you know, like it's in our own backyards. Like that, that's, that was something that appeals to, and always has in other stuff that we've done together, just taking the mundane and imbuing it with magic. I love the idea of just like walking. I mean, Dave with Jurassic Park, I remember he said like he walked out of that movie theater and he was like looking around 
for dinosaurs. Like he was something like this is possible. And I think that's what we were trying to do with this movie and other things we do together is just let's make it like your own backpack. Like backpacks now take on them. Every, every little mundane thing can have like a magic to it. I think we always imagine something small that you're helping. You know, that can do something big, which is the sort of symbol of what a kid is. Like this little thing that in the end like controls this massive ship. And so it's about like a little person, a little kid can do these massive things. Our whole history, you know, from the moment we've been looking up at the stars, we've started aiming up like all our dishes and like looking to the stars for a signal. Because that's what we're looking for, the signal from space.